Hi guys, the new Chancellor Jeremy Hunt was interviewed on Sky News on Saturday where he was brutally honest and contradicted a previous statement from his boss Liz Truss. Now with Kwasi Kwarteng out, there seems to be a change of approach to how information is to be presented. Until recently there was talk about how the public should not worry, the mini budget will deliver and the message of growth built just on rhetoric alone was positive. The new Chancellor instead is talking about austerity. But before we get to him, what did Liz Truss say about this exact thing in the House of Commons just a few days ago? During her leadership contest, the Prime Minister said, and I quote her exactly, I'm very clear, I'm not planning public spending reductions. Yeah. Is she going to stick to that? Yeah. Absolutely. 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 And this is what the new Chancellor had to say. Actually, his reputation for economic competence has been trashed by the mini-budget, hasn't it? I mean, Kwasi Kwarteng has paid the price for that by losing his job. But can you rebuild that reputation when the architect of those proposals in the mini-budget is still in her job? Liz Truss is still Prime Minister. Well, she's been Prime Minister for less than five weeks. Um, what I would say about the mini-budget is... Look at the, the chaos that it's caused. Well, let's talk about the mini-budget. Um, the most important element of it was the energy price guarantee. People's energy bills were heading for £6,500. This will keep the average one down at £2,500. That's very important to families up and down the country. That's staying. But there were mistakes. It was a mistake when we're going to be asking for difficult decisions across the board on tax and spending to cut the rate of tax paid by the very wealthiest. It was a mistake to fly blind and to uh, to do these forecasts without giving people the confidence of the Office for Budget Responsibility saying that the sums add up. And the Prime Minister has recognised that. That's why I'm here. Uh, and what we need now is for me to show uh, Parliament and the markets that we can make our tax and spending plans add up. That's what I'm going to do. And I want to say this, Anna, if I may, we will have some very difficult decisions ahead. Uh, spending will uh, not rise by as much as people would like. And all government departments are going to have to find more efficiencies than they were planning to. And some taxes will not be cut as quickly as people want. Some taxes will go up. So, it's so there you have it. Government departments are going to have to cut back. The taxes are going to go up. Um, this is something that Liz Truss said she would not do when she was running for prime minister. She said, no more taxes. She will not increase taxes. Um, look, I'm not against the idea of increasing taxes, but you need to be honest with people. You say, this is one of the reasons why uh, Rishi Sunak didn't win, because he was a bit more honest. He wasn't selling a fantasy. Liz Truss won because she was selling a fantasy. And now you have Jeremy Hunt coming in here and he's saying, yeah, government departments are going to have to be to, to cut back. Um, this is austerity. Now he's saying, <clears throat> excuse me, he's saying they're not going to be able to spend as they were before. This, this means that they're not going to increase uh, government spending in line with inflation. They're not going to give government departments extra money in line with inflation, which means that they'll have to cut back because everything is, prices are going up, but their budgets are remaining the same. In real terms, it's a cut. Now Liz Truss will try and get around it by saying, I, I, I didn't actually cut, just <clears throat> not giving them more money. Um, but this is austerity. And you, it's quite glaring to see the, the difference in tone from the previous chancellor with the new one, the previous one of saying, don't worry, everything will be fine. You know, the mini budget will deliver. Uh, we're looking at growth. Jeremy Hunt didn't mention growth here. Now, of course, the interview went on for a bit longer, but he was also asked about the NHS. Will the NHS uh, suffer cuts? And he wouldn't be drawn on whether that department would be protected, which would imply that it will not be protected. So. At a time when there is a recession, at a time when people are struggling, the government is cutting, cutting back on um, government investment, government spending, which is extremely problematic because it's going to create um, more and more suffering for ordinary people. Instead of going 
for tax rises on the rich, they're leaving those people alone. So it's still early days. We're going to still have to wait for what, what's going to come out of all of this. But it seems that Jeremy Hunt is going for austerity. And um, that's going to be once again damaging to the economy, damaging to people's uh, incomes. And it's going to be very bad for so the social fabric because you need to increase government spending because people are going through hell at the moment. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.